This is Admin Toy and Alrad, the largest off-road uh, trade fair for RVs in the world. And here I'm going to show you around the Volkswagen uh, tent, which is here. And we'll have a look at some Volkswagen's um, sort of Volkswagen van conversions or Volks VW van conversions. That sounds better in English. Starting off here with a space camper, which is a modular build and I might see it better from the outside coming around here and see what they've got so example we have this kitchen which comes out in the form as can be seen right here and uh, you can come in the van and then you can close the kitchen in behind you and uh, once you've done all that you can get your table out and do your food Pretty clever, eh? All right, um. <laughs> so anyway, so you have a space camper. Let's have a look at something else. Got a Terra camper here. Now, a Terra camper also uses a modular type of approach, but this is somewhat different because this is, uses all these boxes and you sort of sleep on top of the boxes, which uh, in the case of a long journey could be uh, could be a good idea. I mean, because you might have to take a stack of stuff with you. These things can carry a stack of payload anyway. So um, that's that's the idea of it. I don't know if that, that, that is a spray on mud or it's real mud. But anyway, uh, good. So we have the, another Terra Camper. You'll have this vert one here. This is a new model which has never been filmed in the past by me. And this thing here is a lounge on wheels it has this r rear area for uh sitting around there's a rear lounge vw camper this is the only one i know of on the market and as it's got a high roof a permanently high roof uh you get a uh, standing space and it's got this absolutely fantastic uh, um, panoramic window really good eh there's your fridge kitchens up there bit of storage in the back and there you go but here's one which is more sort of standard traditional and you've got a bed here like that you've got your kitchen up there you've got your uh, tent in the roof with a bed this thing here is going to cost 74,000 and the other one is 113,000 so keep walking on Now, Teranga has got a number of... Uh, I mean, to point out, of course, that all this is off-road. I think that was clear, but just, um, just to make it utterly clear. Uh, they have a number of unusual vehicles. This thing here, which is particularly unusual, you've got the VW front on it, and uh, this one here is for sale. What they've done here with this, they've got this second part, which is totally independent of, of the front part. Something like this kitted out cost 179, this is thousand, this is about 130,000. This isn't kitted out at all, so you can do it inside as, as you think best. And so they've got the crawl space there through to the cab, but as this is a box on the back, you can do with it whatever you please. And I rather like the idea of that. Now, the fully kitted out one is 50,000 euros more. So that gives you an idea of what kidding it out is going to cost. 50,000, you may think that's a lot of money, but uh, knowing the cost of the things that go in, in there, I would say it isn't. Uh, right, so uh, let's have a look at this multi camper here. So, 107,000. Un more unusual design inside dark colors here we have a camp mobile and this will come at a cost of 90,000 now what this has got which is unusual is a rear kitchen and uh, there's a the fridge now in a VW camper a rear kitchen so it does sort of give you all that space there. Uh, because of the uh, access to the tent in the roof, uh, so the tent points, uh, uh, as the, the open bits at the back and not as 
could be uh, at the front but there you go rather unusual layout in in that one now here's some VW VW's from VW here yeah? uh, this thing's called a Panamericana don't know why and this comes with some seats probably got an engine up there and yeah don't know why don't know where you're supposed to sleep in that but you sit sleep sitting up and that's some information on it and i'll get you this the price of this that's fifty two thousand six hundred uh there's a this is a vw ocean the cost of which is probably astronomical there you are this costs 106,252, which is actually more than the cost of putting fuel in it. I know it's hard to believe. And there you go. It's a lift up kitchen there. Not kitchen, what do you call it? Fridge. Uh, to, I uh, mind you, the, the kitchen there is much nicer than sort of, and it has been in the past. You got a bit of space down there for your, for your junk. Seats go backwards and forwards. And. Now obviously I appreciate the 4x4 kit costs a fair bit of cash, but I'd rather get a proper motor home anyway. Here we'll have a look at this one here. The uh, This is the California Beach, which differs from the ocean by being a different colour. And this thing here costs 88,000 euros. And uh, it also hasn't got a kitchen in it. You have to bring your own kitchen. It's got a tent in the roof. And uh, it's got oh, it's got a, a mattress. There's the uh, Grand California, which I've done various times in the past. Let's have a look at the uh, the not so Grand California. This one here comes with a bed at the back and nothing else. Probably got an engine in there. It's got windscreen wipers, tires, and this costs. Oh, 53,287 and here we have this is the VW Energetic the new multivan at a cost of 83,737 comes with a bed two bottles of water oh and it's got some stuff at the back but this is the QQQ system which I'll quickly demonstrate so this is a thing which turns a camper van uh, into sorry a car into a camper van and uh, you've got your um, your cooker there you've got your fridge and your water and this pulls in and out and the uh, runners can take quite a lot of weight so that's what that's all about this comes out in various styles for various vehicles such as you get one for a Land Rover for example or other vehicles as well here's the T 6.1 California Beach for motion and this one comes with an unusual outer um, design it looks as though it's been scratched and uh, always good to get something it looks as though it's been scratched because when it does get scratched you can claim that uh, it was meant to be like that. Let's have a look inside. If, if there's any point to looking inside. No, there probably isn't any point to looking inside. We'll give that one a miss. And uh, here we have a all motion Caddy 5. Don't know what this is doing in a camping event, but uh, we'll see if I can have a look. And uh, so it's, it's really small. It's um, camping equipment includes a rear chair, which you can go to sleep in if you want to. T4 Synchro. Uh, yeah, once more with nothing in it, which makes it a camper van. You have to put that in yourself. Right. Um, T6 California Beach 4 Motion. There's a dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have a look at this one. And uh, this is a uh, no price on this. And it's locked. Don't blame them. I just criticized it anyway. Uh, so uh, here at T6, uh, this one looks as though it could actually front run. It's got, it looks like the 4x4 kit looks quite nice. 
and uh, it's got a nice outer logo on it. I like that. So, throwing ship, throwing ship, and we're not getting in. So, anyway, we can see what it's got there. It comes with a tent in the roof, it comes with these sand tracks, which apparently uh, uh, you need to get metal ones, I'm so I'm told. I don't know if it's true or not. And it comes with a bike on at the top. Right, Tora Concept Fartside, and uh, that looks very elegant. It's the sort of thing you'd probably go to a wedding in and not certainly you want to go camping in it though and uh, there you go there's this company Seikel which does uh, 4x4 kits as I understand it um, KEC Motors hey, we'll have a look at this one just stick the camera around and uh, oh now that's more elegant that's a bit more like it uh, we've got a proper fridge here we've got a sink we've got one burner if, and if something of this size that makes sense to have one rather than two because you makes a bit more room for anything else that's a bit more elegant and yeah you know, it comes with a snorkel and uh, probably other things as well all right let's uh, have a look at another one here and there's somebody in there but you see we left the fridge there so it's uh, you can see this is a fridge now got a couple here from uh oh so there's a volkswagen driving the world Am amarok so amarok you can actually build something to put on the back of it and some kind of a unit and nothing else i do that uh this from volker is quite outstanding it's got a real and yeah, we'll take you around the back and have a look at this because this is this 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 sort of thing appeals to me and uh oh we can't you can't see it because the, the door the, anyway we'll have to see it in a different video this one but this thing here has got this real lounge yeah i'll show you a different real lounge one assuming there's nobody in there of course and uh so this is a real lounge uh vehicle And uh, I'll just stick the camera around. We'll have a quick look. Look at that. Now that's a bit more elegant, isn't it? Now, so the price is something like, well, almost. Uh, <laughs> you can all, price of one of those over there, you can almost get one of these. A proper, a proper van with a kitchen, a nice rear lounge, somewhere to sit, well, obviously, somewhere to sit anyway. But uh, yeah, now that is definitely more like it in my opinion also has somewhere to store stuff and uh i might have exaggerated yeah, no i'm sorry i have exaggerated a bit on the price it's 170,000. but i mean why get one of them oceans which has got nothing and costs 90,000 or something when you have something like this anyway uh this is the road ranger this costs 77,000, i think so yeah, it does 70 and uh, we'll have a quick look at this from the from the rear so I don't know what's that's comes with comes with a red thing to stop it um, and it's a sort of bed and right so there you go and there's a there's another road ranger having said that the, the benefit of something like this is of course that you can actually like the Amarok you can stick something on the back and then you can drive it uh, around and sort of sleep in the thing that you've uh, stuck onto the back. Good, right. So I think I'll finish off with a quick look at, uh, we'll, we'll do this, this one here. This is the one I started off with, the, um, this is the Space Camper Limited Open. Yeah, it comes with a table. So, thanks for watching uh, and uh, being here. See these VW camper vans at um, Amtoy Nalrad 2023, and all the best from me in Germany.